Shalom, we are the Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis camp of the Great Millstone. We're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahweh Shai, Barashim, Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who are well and teaching us this 100% truth. Say it to them and our fellow actors who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also say you to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth, that you like it to the speckled bird, also known as the Israelite foreigners and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and they are as follows. The tribe of Judah, the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, the tribe of Levi, the so-called Haitians, the tribe of Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, the tribe of Zebulon, the so-called Guatemalans, the Panamanians, the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. The tribe of Manasseh, the so-called Cubans. The tribe of Gad, the so-called North American Indians. The tribe of Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians. The tribe of Nathali, the so-called Argentinians and Chileans. The tribe of Asher, the so-called Columbus and Uruguayans. And the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom! All right, let's get right into it. This is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time that is now high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah, yeah, it's not talking about in the bed sleep, man. All right, it's talking about knowing what's going on in the society, man. All right, paying attention to the scriptures, man. And, 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 uh, and know that prophecy is, is uh, fulfilling itself, man, as we speak. All right, at a high rate, man. All right, go ahead. Yeah, because uh, Brother Nathan put the article in the group earlier about, uh, about the collapse in uh, World uh, uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Yep, that's on the west coast of America in California. You know what I'm saying? So you uh Golden State Warrior fans out there. You know what I'm saying? Your your society out there is collapsing, which is gonna have a domino effect everywhere else here in America. Alright. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pretty soon y'all gonna be eating them Golden State Warrior jerseys. All right. Steph Curry gonna be gonna be uh breaking on the grill. You know he what gonna saying? be the real Steph Curry. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon. Go ahead, brother. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. He said, now is our salvation nearer than we believe. All right, because we hey, we know what time we're in because of the uh, the prophecies, man. All right, the prophecies is telling it all, man. It's telling you, hey, it's time to right now, it's the time to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because you ain't got long, man. All right, go ahead, bro. This is uh, <clears throat> the book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 28. Hey, 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 it's closing, man, as we speak. All right? The Lord is about to make his grand uh, appearance, man, and come back with great destruction, man. All right, go ahead, bro. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 28. And these are words in the red letters. So these are the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shot. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head. It said, when these things begin to come to pass. All right? And, and we're seeing all these prophecies coming to pass. Go ahead, bro. It says, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth not. I mean, pay attention, man. Just pay attention, because, hey, man, the Lord is about to make this grand appearance, like I said before, man. All right, we don't have that much longer. It's not going to be no 15, 20, 30 years, man. That's right. The time is like now, man. Everything is happening. You're seeing, you're seeing the spirit. All right, we're seeing, all, we're seeing famine. We're seeing great death, mass destruction, earthquakes, wars. Rumors of war, we see all these things happening, man. So the Bible is fulfilling itself right before our eyes, man. Right. So the Lord say, hey, you're in a time where I'm about to return. Get yourself together, man. All right, go ahead, bro. But the That's only it. ones in the know is going to be the ones that are looking up for their redemption job not. Because right. the rest of these people walk around with their head down because they're stuck in the matrix in this world, man. That's right. See what I'm saying? This, this economy is collapsing, but you still got people out here buying $500 shoes. For what? See what I'm saying? Go ahead. This is Proverbs 8 and 34. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates. It's said watching daily, man. 
Right, right, because you can't. Said, but it said, blessed is yeah. the man. Blessed is the man. And you can make much of daily, man, because you're paying attention as an Israelite, or you got to be paying attention to what's going on on a daily basis. Because things, hey, it's a saying, uh, what a difference a day makes, man. That's right. Things can change quickly, man. Hey, hey, uh, I see the apostles talking about 9-11. And them being in New York, how, how the world shifted, all right, just in one event, all right? So we can imagine when, when, when a lot of events start occurring every day at, 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 at a mass rate, man. <clears throat> imagine what the world is going to uh, change into, man, all right? Different laws, different uh, procedures, different things that are going to be put in place, all right? All right, to destroy you Israelites, man. You need those Latinos and Native Americans. But wait a minute, look how the world changed during the whole C-19. And it still ain't recovered. Right. You, you got people still to this day in 2023 still walking around with masks and gloves on. <laughs> so you want you know what I'm saying? And they call yeah, yeah. yeah. these people still ain't recovered, man. You still can go to the grocery store and only buy a certain amount of items in the grocery yeah. store. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. Proverbs 8 and 34. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. Well, now, that's what a watchman does. Yep. Right. See what I'm saying? So remember, the Lord said he made his watchman, but that's what a watchman does. They stand at the post watching day. You know, like like protecting, let's say, a building or a house like a security guard. See what I'm saying? Letting people know what? Danger's coming. Yeah, I mean, danger's coming. Yeah. Exactly. Right? They see it before it gets too close. And right. now they have time to prepare. And that's what us men of the Lord are doing, man. We're watching. Are we trying to give you an Israelite to prepare? All right, for the Lord's return, man. All right, so we're, we're like the spiritual Paul Revere. That's right. Remember yeah. how Paul Revere was running the Red Coast. That's right. Yeah. And the Red Coast are who? The Edomites, the so-called right. white people. They're coming to, to what? Kill you, Negro, Latino, Native American. We tell you to take heed, prepare, man. Take shelter like uh, the, like the uh, uh, tornado warning sign. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Right, this is uh, 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. It shall obtain favor of the Lord. All right, so, hey, when you come back to the Lord, you follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man. All right, doing, what you, uh, doing what's necessary for your salvation. I mean, you love life, man. All right? You're putting the time in to what? Serve your power. All right? And, and, and with that being said, man, he's not going to just leave you out there. He's just not going to leave you out there, man. All right? He's going to protect you in the time of trouble. All right, go ahead, bro. Yeah, he said, he that find me, find the life, right? So if you don't have him, then what you got? Death. Yeah, that's right. right. See what I'm saying? Because, uh, what, huh? Well, go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. death. Right. He right. Kind. He kind. He said, all they that hate me <laughs> love death. That's right. right. And he's really talking to you Israelites, man. Because you're the ones that were given the laws that the commandments. All right, so he, if you sin against him, I mean, you breaking his laws that the commandments. He has every right to release you, man. Put you to death, man. All right? For your sin, for your transgression. And he, hey, man, there's people dying by the thousands now, man. This earthquake made me last week. Made the week before last killed 40,000 people, man. We're still climbing, man. All right? Those, these are the days that we're living in, man. The Lord is bringing great death and great destruction, man, to this world, man. All right? Yeah. something real quick. But, just, but now... Uh, train flipping over is the national thing now. Yeah, that's, that's, all of a sudden. Sudden. that's right. Yeah. Now you're terrified when you come up the train track because you don't know if it's going to flip over or not, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, Father Tad told me yesterday, he said, it was, what, 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 just to make a point on the, the 40,000 people dying in the earthquake, just to put it in perspective, the average NBA stadium only holds 18,000 people. So just think about that. Man. That's a lot That's of death. Right. Man. Hey, and then after that earthquake, another one hit uh, yes. the same place, Turkey, Syria, like a week or two later. Yeah. All right, so the Lord is doing his judgment this place, man. All right, go ahead. Ezekiel chapter 33. I'm going to start at verse 1. Because the, the, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. Yes. Yes. Who is the, the children of thy people, man? Speak that on the sand. We go back to the Native right. American. All right, we're, we're, we're the children of the Most High, man. All right, we're the chosen seed, man. Go ahead, bro. 
and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and send him for their watchman, and uh, uh, if when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. That's what we're doing, man. We're warning the people, man. Because we're coming to take out the scriptures, man. We're, we're saying what they say to how much and how much I, man. All right, we're not making this up. This is not a fairy tale. All right, this is something that you better believe because the Lord is, is coming back whether you like it or not, man. All right, go ahead. It says, so, so, so we are here watching, man. All right. All right, we're paying attention to the time that we're in. Go ahead, brother. If, 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 if you ever watch movies, uh, uh, um, major cities always had a man at the coast watching. Uh, 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 like the movie, uh, uh, for example, Troy. When all those ships came, what did they do? They sounded the alarm. Okay. All right, to prepare the people to get ready for battle, man. All right, and that's what we're doing. We're sounding the alarm for our people to get ready for the return of your house by shot. Right. And, and, and even that, bro, when in the USC, they have this thing at the top of the, uh, 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 the top of the ship where a man climbs up and looks. All right, and he's paying attention to what's going on around in the sea, man. All right. He's going to hear rocks and run up to the shores and things like that. That's what we are, man. We're what? watching. All right, tell me what to say. Things are happening. Things are happening. Verse 4. It says, Then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and take him not warning, the sword come and take him away, his blood should be upon his own head. Why? Because he was born, man. All right, he was born. We gave you a warning. You didn't take me. The Lord put you to death. That's my goal, man. All right, come here, bro. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took, they took no warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he hey, that, that's on you, man. It says, but he that take a warning shall deliver his soul. He that take a warning shall deliver his soul, man. The ones that are hearing are right, to the words of the, of the scriptures, man. Are paying attention to the times that we're in, man. Are, are not sleep like the first scripture was. Uh, uh, we're waking out of that sleep. All right, we're paying attention. We're not caught up in the matrix in that, so to speak, man. All right? All right? Go ahead, boy. Because, but if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned. And that's what's happening. You see with these other camps, man. All right? They're, 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 they're teaching. They're not teaching what times that we're in, man. Right. They're, they're paying attention to things that really don't even matter, man. All right? Now, we know the scriptures matter, but what you're talking about, man, we're not living in those times. IUIC, Wi Fi, you know, because the big thing is, is the mark of the beast, man, you know, the chip, man. So, you know, so, so, so really, you gotta, you gotta call names on that, you know. I, I, you know, even those guys, you know, if, if you're not teaching that the mark of the, the, mark of the beast is, is, is the chip you going off, man, right. it's as simple as that. All right. so, 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 okay. Go ahead. It says, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Right, because you, you have, you, you read the scriptures and you tucked it under a rug, man. All right? You didn't put it out there for everybody to hear, to give them a fair chance or a fair deal, man. All right? So the Lord, he's going to hold you accountable for that, man. All right? Is it so that old son of man, I have sent you watchman unto the house of Israel. To the Israelites, man. You need to go to the Latino and the Native Americans. All right, we're, th these, these, these uh, scriptures are for you. All right, we're talking to you, man. All right, nobody else, man. All right, go ahead. It says, therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them for, for me. When I say unto the old wicked man, thou shalt surely die, but thou dost not speak and warn the wicked of his way, that wicked man shall die in his victory, but his blood will I require in thy hand. Yeah. 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 Now, man, it'll be on us. If we ain't come out of these highways and byways, if we ain't push those electronic devices, that'll be on us, man. All right? Go ahead. But the thing about it, we have to believe in the word that you have about shooting out a shot in order to push the word. Right? A lot of these people don't believe. That's why they don't push the correct doctrine. That's right. Uh, how about shooting out a shot. They come with their own doctrine. Why? Because they believe in Esau, the so-called white man, instead of the Lord. See what I'm saying? Why do you think they take this Judas person? Because they don't have faith in the Lord, man. Or oh, they, 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 they took the juice. Yeah. 
Oh, both. 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 As do others, That's but let us watch and be sober. He said, watch and be sober, man. What, not drunk off me, other philosophies, doctrines. All right, you got to pay attention to the scriptures. And the scriptures only right now, man. All right, because they're speaking. All right? It's not the time to be rocket and frolicking up and down the street. All right, like the uh, elder was just going into, uh, shopping at the mall and doing all this and that, man. This is the time to be paying attention to the time that we're in, man. Now, there's nothing wrong with you know, having, you know, doing, you know, having a little leisure time, man, or whatnot. All right, but you can't just fall asleep. You got to get actually paid attention, man. All right, go ahead. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. I mean, hey, that means you just not paying attention to being a little bit at that point, man. All right. All right, you don't care what's going on. You don't care that the uh, economy is crashing. You don't care that the American dollar is almost it, it's worthless now, man. All right, it's only going to be a matter of time before you can't go to the grocery store, man. It's only going to be a matter of time before you can't go buy a pair of pants, man. All right, it's going to be a matter of time before you can't go into the yard house. All right, that's what they're going to require something for you to get to these places, man, in the near future. All right, they require you to put an implant in, in your hand, man. All right, to, to, to go in these places, man. All right, go ahead. And it's only a matter of time before you start turning y'all back into slaves. That's, that's right, right, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Turn y'all back into slaves and kill y'all out. Because, hey, when I woke up this morning, when I tried to stop my car, it was like about 445. There was two tails already in the air. Cut. Cut. It's 445 in the morning, Cut. man. They never stop spraying that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's so you right. think the white man ain't trying to kill you? Go ahead. Trump's back from slaves. Mississippi was just passed with Jim Crow law. That's so right. Here. And uh, in Tennessee, one of the senators, um, uh, I tried to put mention back on yep. the table after it's made a federal aid. So it's all showing the horns, man. But a lot of these people are asleep. A lot of them see Esau showing the horns. A lot of these people are going to be for a nice uh, steak at Ruth Chris for about 250 You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pretty soon you're going to be eating on that same fork that you had at Ruth Chris, man. You're going to be eating the leather off your boots, you know man. I'm trying to suck some juices out that fork, man. 3D steak. Precept. 3D steak. It's a feast <laughs> Wherefore he says, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and a Mashiach shall give thee life. Right, he said, Awake thou that sleepest. What are you going to be in that say. Wherefore he says, Awake thou that sleepest. He said, Wake thou that sleepest, man. All right, and those who the elect, man. The elect are paying attention to what's going on, man. The true men of the Lord are, are actually paying attention and are, 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 are living the way they're supposed to live, man. Our teaching the way they're supposed to be teaching. Our doctrine, okay, I'm going to have to try that. Not wavering, all right, because people don't like it, man. Not wavering, all right, because they want to be popular in Israel, man. All right? Not wavering, all right, for that, for that money, for that, that, uh, that filthy lucre, man. Yes, sir. All right? The true true men of the Lord are going to teach the correct doctrine and they're going to be paying attention, all right, to what's going on, man. All right, go ahead, brother. He says, and arise from the dead. Yeah, Mashiach shall give thee life. Go ahead, here's a precept for that, Isaiah 60. Go on here. Okay. Yeah, read, read that too. It says, uh, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. Because uh -huh. you keep hearing the word sleep, that don't mean physically sleep, it right. means spiritually sleep. Because mm -hmm. you got people like, I hear the word, so I can't go to sleep. Yes, you can. But it's talking about spiritual sleep, meaning what? Not having this truth, the word that you have about your mouth shut. Right. 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 Being docile. That's right. You know, right. being in the docile state. You know. And he's going to keep you like the, the GMO fools, the fucking reality shows. You know? Like I said, brother said, the, the chemtrails. You know? With, with, with the 
water, you know, with the fluoride in the water. Really, he, he got y'all out of nuts. Every time something major happened, he saw a quick, hey, breaking news, uh, Mark Kelly just stepped yeah, up his yeah. coach and, and broke his feet and I'm thinking about it. And you forget about what's really happening. <laughs> you forget about that Esau passed all types of love and the breeze, man, mm -hmm. to destroy you, man. I would say it. You said all the time they did the same thing you know, with, with the, with, uh, what's that, the Roman games, man, all right? With, with, with things were, were changing the wrong, what did they do? They had the hands, yep. all right? So what, to distract the people? That's right. That's what Esau do as well, man. They distract y'all with, with, with these celebrity gossip and all these different things that's going on, man. All right, they can go to the different form. Reset. Right. It says, in the rise of the dead, the hush of the people in life. It's the dead that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as lives. Reset. Life is come. The Lord is the Lord is in the fight. 
Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light has come. Yep, thy light is the light is you, Yahweh Christ. Which is the word, right? Scripture says, uh, uh, what's that? In John, right there, real quick. You know, think of John, the first chapter. The light is, the light is Yahweh Christ. You know? It says, What? The, the, and, and, and the word was made flesh. That, that, that. Okay? Go on here. This is dark, right? It's called walk to the valley of the shadow of death. This is the shadow of death, man. All right? That's cute. That's cute. I didn't call it. 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 A lot of men learn to run from the you know? All right? Not just any man, all right? It's a good age. 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 Yeah, that's why, uh, hey, that's why you gotta have stuff. Many great misery needs. You see them goddamn mosquitoes? Right. Uh, you know, fucking mosquitoes, uh, uh, flies, they have they grab them, they jump on the light bulb, you know? Leap all the juice out of the kitchen. That's what these call them. Okay, possibly all of a sudden, you know? Go ahead. Because I don't know, I don't know, right now, I'm talking about it. In the darkness, it's not comprehensive. They can't comprehend. I'm talking two thirds. They can't realize. I'm going to get Shirley over two stories. What is that? Yeah. No, 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 no matter how many times you break it down, I mean, that's why, that's why. Right, give me a break down. Right, you want me to give it to you? All right, go ahead. Hey, that's why when you change that ball, all the bugs be sitting there dead. You know, you got to dump all the bugs out of them. You know, they, can, they, can, they, can, they can never get to understand it, man. They, they, they're they drawn to it. Like, they look up at what are you doing? Oh, brother. We Israelites. But they can never come into the light of the truth. That's what Judas say, clouds were out wilder. Mm -hmm. See? Go ahead. It says, there was a man sent from the tower whose name was John. Uh -huh. The same came for a witness, uh -huh. to bear witness of the light, uh -huh. that all men knew him. Uh -huh. That all men knew him. Uh -huh. And we bear witness of this light. All right? Do what? Do the work. Man. Go ahead. It says, he was not that light. Uh -huh. He was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which light of every man that cometh into the world. Mm -hmm. So he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world was made by him. See, the world don't, they don't know that. That's the judgments. Some black women, some pookie and river. I pray. I really pray. I don't know what's going on, but ooh, I hope that, we, that somehow we can look up the news and we, we get some notifications. Because yeah. hey, I be getting notifications on my phone. Yeah. News. No, uh, uh, remember, because I've been here. Yeah. So, you know, that shit, yeah. these phones are plugged in. Yeah. Because usually, you know, I get notifications from Dallas. Yeah. You know, I get the news notifications. Every morning, my phone goes off. Five people right. shot in Dallas. Sure. <laughs> but being that, I guess, I've been. I spend so much time here, I guess my phone, my network automatically picks up. Because when I went back to Dallas, 
I was getting notifications about shit that was happening. Yeah. Yeah. Two people shot in Indianapolis. This happened in Indianapolis. Yeah. So I get notified. Maybe I'll get the notification. I'm looking into it. Right? Yeah. Because right, that right there is something going on. Yeah. They ain't flying like that. And then the Keystone cops almost crashed into each other. <laughs> that would have been beautiful. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But the Lord is going to bring judgment, man. Judgments. And you know what? I was telling the brother here on the side. We was talking about this, man. It was a day, brother. Well, the trip that we took was a spiritual. It ended up, I didn't, I wasn't able to do like, but that's the Lord, man. My, my so-called business thing that I went down there to do, I went and did it, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Fine, I don't give a fuck. It'll work out later. But we went down there on a, on a spiritual journey. We ended up doing the work of the Lord all the way around. Did some videos, but then we also ended up blessing some brothers, praying, putting curses. Uh, uh, yeah, Murph and the other brother showed up. What's his name? The other uh, light-skinned brother. I forget his name. You know, him, him and Murph, you know, he always with Murph all the time. He trained you know The light-skinned yeah. brother, he looked like he could be an Ephraimite or something yeah, like that. Really yeah, that brother. But we ended up, Murph, they just showed up, man. We was up until like 4 in the morning, just talking, chopping it up. It was, it was a beautiful, beautiful trip. The brother house we stayed at, you know, the brother, uh, the compound. Yeah. That brother going through shit, so we ended up blessing him and the other older brother that was there. It, it, was, it was just a, it was a total spiritual night. And we woke up this morning, we, we said, yeah, we got to cut it short, we got to get out of here. But right, it was the same thing this morning. We woke up, we all woke up this morning, we still talked. We stayed there for like an extra hour, two hours, just still just chopping it up, talking spiritual shit, you know? So it was a total spiritual trip. And the main thing we all in one consensus, of course, about Big Shirley and them, but these niggas too, these, these regular black people, bro, I'm gonna throw this out of fuck black people, man. I'm a racist. I'm gonna let it be known right here on camera, but I don't talk to black people. The only time I talk to a black person, I'm talking about a dude, even. I try not to make eye contact. I'll be like, <laughs> I don't talk to chick. Dead ass serious. I go in the supermarket, niggas in there, and niggas be trapped. I, <laughs> Like getting what I, you know, the laundry mat, the gym. Every once in a while, if I talk to a Jake, it's only because I told him that in the car just now. If he come right, every so and often, every so and often, I will talk to it like a Jake out there. If he come like a man, if he come, you know, right. Like if the dude come and he's like, hey, hey, hey brother, he, and manly, he gotta come manly. Don't come at me, all that word old fucking GMO baby shit. Don't come up to me. Don't want to fucking die that step to me. You know what I mean? For real. I only talk to men. I only talk to men. I don't talk to them fucking Pinocchio weirdo. <laughs> I don't talk to people like that. I'll kick you in the face, man. Get away from me. It could be my own son. I have a son. I got a son that's like 24 years old. Man, I really, I don't want to see him. Not on this side. Cause I already know he's a fucking Pinocchio weirdo. I'm being real. That's why I wanted to get a scripture. These people, all this weirdo, even we parked. As soon as we got out the goddamn car, some weirdo Pinocchio. What are you guys doing? <laughs> right, 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 Kaya? Some weirdo, he's probably a homeless dude, a nigga. Some weirdo nigga. You guys got it there? What are you guys doing? <laughs> you know, we, just, we just ignored him. Niggas talking shit on the comic board, scoffing. Yo, man, the Lord is gonna deal. The Lord is gonna deal with you, man. Y'all by the shit, y'all shit, gonna deal with you, man. Yo, see that right there? See them sirens? So something's going on. We're gonna find out, maybe Lord willing later. The Lord is bringing judge. This is judgment time. People think that people are so gone and bugged out. Hey, man, that's oh, somebody else get Isaiah 29 and 10, right? Look at that. Second uh, Ezra is 8 and 50. If y'all don't mind, I ain't been to cut into y'all. I didn't know what y'all was going. I mean, I know I overheard y'all, but I don't, I don't know if y'all was on a certain topic. But the spirit is on me, man. Yeah, I, I, I just took that nice drive. Hey, man, I would have thought I would have been like sluggish and tired. I'm like, I'm like energized. I'm in the spirit. Yo, for real, bro. For some funny reason, the Lord just got the spirit on me. I'm not even tired. I'm like, I'm, in, I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. 
All right, let's go. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. And this is the spirit we all got to be in, man. Right. Right. I was just telling d Mash and Kaya in the car, man, this ain't time to be depressed or be... That's what Satan wants. He wants, That's right. he wants to destroy your spirit. Right. Satan wants to destroy y'all's spirit, man. Right. The demons are going to always be there. You know what? Get used to it. I, 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 I can tell you guys that. I'm telling you right now, I'm a living example of it. There ain't gonna be no period now where, okay, the demon's gonna leave me alone for a little while. And everything is gone. I'm gonna just be feeling great. Singing in the rain and shit. <laughs> nah, man. I, I, there's like certain demons that are fucking with me and they just keep fucking with me. Right? But you know what, bro? It's another day at the office. I'm so used to it now. I learned to function under pressure. That's right. The demons are always gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. You wake up in the morning. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay. Hey, shalom. Mm. <laughs> to the demon. <laughs> hey, hey, sh shalom. <laughs> yeah. He, he, the, the, the motherfucker, Satan, going always, but you got to learn to function just with him. It's like an infirmity. Sorry. You know, whatever it is, you got this, you got, you know, chronic headaches or whatever, chronic pain. You learn to function with it, whatever it might be. Diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, we're going to have these infirmities. Scripture said that. They that be whole have no need of a physician, but they that are sick. But that was really talking about spiritual and physical. Spiritual and physical. We're going to be fucked up till y'all shot get here. And these bodies, the Bible says what? You shall have tribulation in the flesh. Yahweh Shah said that. We got to heed the words of Yahweh Shah, man. We got to get in the comforter. He's the comforter. That's Yahweh Shah, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's Yahweh Shah. Now read that, 2nd Ezra. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. That's all these people. See, all these fucking weirdos and these fucking Walt Disney characters. And that means you scoffers, all you fucking scoffers and you detractors and naysayers. And that includes whether you are Israelite, whether you call yourself, all you other wicked other Israelite groups. That's you. You guys are going to be all fucked up. You can continue to scoff. You can continue to talk shit. You can continue to come on our comment boards with your whack corner. And you're going to put the word camera. It's about y'all, bro. I don't need to be on the camera. Keep the camera on, y'all. Right. I have my time to be on camera. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For real. So it's about y'all. I'm just interjecting with spirit is on me. I don't need to be on camera. I had 32 years to be on camera. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Right. All right, man. <laughs> y'all going to pay, man. For real, I'm serious about that. Hey, it's not my show. I'm just a part of the show. <laughs> you dig? Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Let you brothers get... Let y'all be on camera. Let y'all be seen. I don't need to be seen. <laughs> I've already been seen. Everybody know who the fuck I am. Go <laughs> ahead, <Damn>, man. <laughs> Verse 51. Because then if I'm on camera right there, you know, nigga, which I don't give a fuck about. That's it. That, that, that nigga Makai, he got to But they're going to talk straight regardless. But why he hiding Makai? Why? But if I was on camera, see, he got to always hide off the camera. He think it's all about him. Whatever, nigga. <laughs> Whatever. You know, it's the apostles. And, and, and you know, I used to be on the camera when I do my. You notice, I stop. I don't be on camera no. Cause why? The Apostle Kabbal, Taha, Rama, they don't be on camera. So I was like, you know what, man? Yeah, well, I don't need to show my face. Fuck it. The niggas know what I look like. They know who I am. You can't mistake my voice. You can't mistake me with nobody in Israel. <laughs> right or wrong? <laughs> right? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. <laughs> Second answer, eight fifty-one. Understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. See, I, I understand thou this for thyself, the elect. Going back to the elect. So this truth is only for the elect. So that's letting you know right there, that's the mentality that we're supposed to have. Fuck anybody that's not in this truth. Sorry. That includes family members. That's right. Okay? The only people that you really real talk realistically, the only folks that according to the scriptures, the only folks you kind of really supposed to deal with on some type of level is your mother and father, really. Real talk. Because Yahweh Shai dealt with his mother and she was a nuisance, right? Your mother and father, because the, the Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days will be long upon the earth. 
So basically, you know, your mother and father, if they're still living and shit, you are supposed to you know, make sure they're good. Yeah. You know, you are supposed you talk to your father, you know, the only way you, like, like y'all know, man, the only way you have to straight up cut your parents off is if they just straight up on some satanic shit. Then that the Lord understands that. Like if your father and mother are just demons, I mean outright demons and they're trying to just fuck, they're causing disturbances in your life, then but you, you still don't you don't put curses on them. You know what I mean? You let the Lord deal with them. You ain't supposed to put no curses on your father or mother. That'll get you killed. That'll get you put to death by the Lord, man. Okay? Uh, 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 uh. You just, if your father's just a total demon, you tell him, hey, Pops, you know, hey, Dad, I love you. you my father. I love you because you, you, know, you gave birth to me, you, but I, I, I can't deal with you. I just can't deal with you. I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to have to step away from you. But I'm, just, I'm still honoring you as my earthly father, but I just can't deal with you, man. And you, then you just got to step away and just not deal with them. You know the old saying? If you ain't got something nice to say, don't say it at all. Just don't say shit. And you just, and you tell people, or brothers say, look, bro, yeah, my father, you know, he got Satan on him. So I, 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 I was, I'm forced to not deal with him anymore. I have to just kind of let him go. I still got love for him as being my father. He gave birth to me on the earth. He produced me, but I just can't fuck with him. Same thing with your mother, right? That's my mother. I love you, but I just can't deal with you. Boom, and you just step away. But outside of that, outside of those extenuating circumstances, if your father and mother are somewhat cool, they're going to be, the mother going to be a demon because she's a woman. Outside of that, if you can still be somewhat cordial with your parents, you be cordial with them. They need to help, you help them. If you can, if it's in your means to do so. You understand what I'm saying? That's how that works. You know, but outside of that, you really ain't got to fuck with nobody else in your family, man. You got a brother, sister, you can tell them to kiss your ass if they ain't right. But once again, if you got family members, you know, brother, if your family's cool and you can deal with them on some levels, then you fuck with them. You know, like, yeah, that, like, like yeah, it all goes situation by situation, you know what I mean? You know, if you got, you know, if you, you know your, your cousins is cool and you can fuck with them on a certain level, they're not total niggas and... You, you know, you can fuck with your family. They invite you over for a, a dinner. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, we having so yeah, you wanna come? You know, you, you can go. Ain't no sin in that. You know what I mean? Oh, niggas gonna really, I'm gonna say something else. If they invite you over for Thanksgiving dinner, you can go. Why not? It's just a fucking dinner to us. We don't celebrate that shit. Fuck that. Right? Auntie Auntie Josie said, come on over, but I'm gonna get that you got Oh, oh, what you mean? Some turkey? You got some good macaroni and cheese? Okay, I'm coming. You got, we got the drinks over there? I'm coming. That's a free meal. What's wrong with that? <laughs> right? You go. I'll do it. Yeah, on the scarf, I'm going to give y'all my ass to kiss. Because you niggas will go. You greedy ass, low life niggas. Y'all ass will go. Christmas dinner, I'll go. Because remember the Apostle Paul spoke about that. Because they worshiping their Christmas. We not, we, the food, whatever you're going to eat, you're going to set up a prayer in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh shout over the food anyway. All right. Yep. Like right? the scripture that says, if, 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 if anyone bids you to a feast. I got that. Ah, ah, ah. No matter what kind of feast it might be. Yeah. Right? You're supposed to go and say, go as. But why did the Apostle Paul say that? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, don't uh, uh, take no conscious. That don't mean eat pork. It just means. They might have blessed the food in the spirit of Santa Claus, <laughs> right? You don't worry about that. You praying to Yahweh, Yahweh, shower with the turkey, the baked macaroni and cheese, the yams, <laughs> right? The sweet potato pies, whatever's there, <laughs> right? You praying to the Lord over the food. And you go over there and enjoy the food, man. Get you a nice dinner. Take a plate home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get you some drinks with Uncle Bill. And shit, why, why not? Sit home starving. If you know, if, if, if you if you on that level with your family members, you know, if they that cool and they not talking shit and trying to hinder you from the truth, then you deal. But yo, the Lord is gonna bring a lot of judgments, man. You're gonna get back over here. Now that's why I went into all that, right? It said, now, can you read that again? Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 51. And somebody still got that Isaiah. 
29 on deck, right? Yeah, read that. No, for real, read that. Second Acts 8 51. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For us to you. Stop. We're only supposed to be dealing with the elect. That's right. Seek out the glory for such as be like. Oh, that's that self explanatory. Right. So we don't give a shit about these fucking people out here, man. These people come up here, y'all. If you guys, like they told Kevin Sanders, if you guys put a little uh, butter on it, you know, make smooth, you know, butter's like a smooth, right? Then maybe people, man, motherfucker, didn't we tell you by now? We've been telling you for 25 years, man. 30 years. We, we ain't give a fuck about y'all, man. We don't give a fuck about y'all. We don't give a fuck about these people, man. You understand what I'm saying? I don't give a shit about these fucking people. <laughs> we don't care. We want to see them die. We want to see them watch them die. Okay? We ain't trying to save the whole world like these other Israelite groups. Their brother, their sister. Get out of my face, man. Brother, sister. For real? Brother. Like these dumbass, you other dumb niggas. You dumb, stupid. Dumb ass, stupid ass, I mean, they had a high priest R.E.R. spirit. High priest R.E.R. used to curse people out, man. Mm -hmm. You dumb ass, stupid ass niggas! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that high priest R.E.R. spirit. You gotta, you gotta watch some of the old videos, man. Yeah, yeah, I've been watching. You yeah. dumb ass, stupid ass niggas! I can't wait till that time come when we can start killing y'all ass. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. A high priest R.E.R. Yeah. <laughs> Put your ass to death. Yeah, 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 that's right, man. Yeah. I appreciate sure y'all ain't care about no niggas in the world, okay? He ain't give a fuck about no niggas in the world, man. You understand? I was taught that way. I was raised that way. I came up in the truth understanding that very well. Fuck a nigga. That's right. And especially once I got up under Apostle Taha, that's when my that's when my understanding really, man. When I really got up under Apostle Taha, that's when like my whole way of thinking changed. I'm telling you something. <laughs> Tell you a quick story, because being that you said that, right? You read that scripture. This is about shit. Thirty years ago, it was me and this other nigga who's no longer with us. He was a Reubenite dude, Shabar. Y'all probably heard the stories, right? Tall Reubenite. At the time, he was cool. That was my man. You know, and he used to put me and Apostle Gabar up. And he had a little small place. You no, know, me and Apostle Gabar didn't have nowhere to go. He used to kind of put both of us up, but you know, we thought he was cool, but he did some other grimy, whole ass nigga shit, right? He snitched out on Apostle Taha, had Apostle Taha brought the council, some whole ass nigga shit. And he was in the camp with us, the 44th camp, right? So anyways, uh, 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 but this is before that happened, right? But his character was already in question anyway. So anyway, right, uh, one particular day, this was back in the 90s, me, you know, we, me and the dude Shabar, his name was Shabar, he ended up killing himself. He was the one, remember, that was a big thing, because after the splits, he stayed, he stayed with, with, with one West, but they kept punking him, they kept taking his, he was, the, brother, he was the king of the ass kissers. He was the king of the brown noses. He was one of them guys that thought, okay, if I kiss this one's ass and that top general's ass, I'll get rent. But then they would shit on him. Yeah, he, he was the king of the ass kisses. King of the brown noses, we call him, right? Anyway, me and the dude, we was up in his crib. We were waiting for Apostle Taha to come, right? Because, you know, Apostle Taha was going to come pick us up in the van. I don't know where we was going that day, but I know Apostle Taha called. So, look, man, you guys be ready when I get there. We, you know, we was always, remember we talked about this? My life was structured in this truth. And for you young men, your life is going to be structured in this truth, man. You, what we was talking about yesterday, yesterday, yesterday morning, before we left, you young men ain't gonna be free. No, you ain't. You ain't free, man. You ain't free to do what you want to do. Okay, we are here to structure you. You gonna, you gonna work. You go to work when you ain't working. Okay, we got class. We got camp. We got this video. Your lives gonna be structured. You ain't just gonna be free to walk around and eat chicken. <laughs> you know what I mean? and just chase bitches. Nah, man, your life gonna be structured in this truth, bro. My life was, when I was a young man, y'all age, younger than y'all, my life was fucking structured. 
You think me and Apostle Cabal just had time to run around? We was just out here walking up the strip, hollering at hoes. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, bro. We was always had to do something. Seven days a week. We was on the oil tables. Then we had to shoot up to Connecticut to go teach. Then come to the camp. Then wherever Apostle Cabal, we were like slaves. I'm going to keep it real. We were like slaves. I wish Apostle Cabal was here. He'll tell you. We were like fucking slaves almost. Seven days a week. We didn't have no free time, bro. We didn't have no fucking free time. We was always on call for Apostle Tahar. Like, hey, let's go. Hey, what are you doing? Right, I'm pulling up. Be ready. <laughs> and you better be fucking ready when he pulled up. You better be ready when he pulled up. <laughs> he pulled up and tapped that horn. We, <laughs> we right outside. And at that time, I was like 18, 19. Come on, bro. So yeah, that, that's the start for you young dude. So it's gonna be the same program here. That's the way things are laid. Y'all gonna be structured, man. The Bible talks about idleness. You can't let you young men be idle, man. After you've improved yourself and, 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 and came up in the rents, then maybe you get a little bit of freedom. You know, that comes later on, right? That comes way later on, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, Apostle Taha rolled up to me and the dude Shabbat. I never forget, this is back in New York, Harlem. Right, we was right there. We lived in that, that was the same building. Matter of fact, uh, like I said, we used to live with Hapri Sari, Hapri Jaguar, in that building right there. So me and the dude came, we ran outside and jumped in a van. That's what Apostle Taha used to drive them vans back then, right? He used to drive like them 18 type vans with the door slides open. Oh, yeah, rough yeah. 18 type vans, right? Yeah. So me and her, you know, of course, he was, but well, I wasn't even an officer yet. I was just a soldier. You know, I took the soldier's test, so I had some rank, but it was a low rank. I was like a corporal soldier. So anyway, uh, 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 the dude Shabar, right, he wasn't even an officer either, but, you know, he was an older dude. He was like a grown man already, right? And he was, I guess, in the truth before me. So he was just a soldier. We both were soldiers. We both actually technically had the same rank. Right, but uh, he was over me because he was an older man. Plus, you know, he was in the school a little before me, so you know, he, he even though we were both technically the same rank, he was over me. I thought, you know, whatever, right? That's how it goes. Seniority, you know. So, of course, you know how to go, right? We jumped in the van, so him, he got up in the front seat. You know, that's the possible to us. You know, the passenger seat. So I sat in the back. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, look, bro, I, I was a soldier, man. I was just happy to be there. Right, right, so right, I got right, in the back. So the part, man, I'm just giving y'all an idea into the mind of Apostle Taha of how I, we came up. So Apostle Taha, you know, we said, hey, Shalom, y'all you know, back then it was General Taha, you know? So we driving, we driving right up 125th Street, Harlem. So it was, i never forget, it was like summertime, it was like a nice day, sunny. So people were all out walking, all, 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 all kind of bitches out, black women, right? So Taha, you know, after we salute the pastor, oh, he's driving, he's just quiet. He said, let me ask you a question, man. He said, when you look at these women, let me ask both of y'all a question, man. He's driving, and he's just, these women. When you look at these women, what's the first thing coming to your mind? What do you think, man? What's the first thing coming to your mind when you look, you look at these women? The dude, Shabar, he just rolls right out of his mouth. He says, fucking them, fucking them. I said, I said, the devil. Brother, the spirit, it just flew out of my mouth. It just came, it, the spirit, I, because that's really how I felt. I always looked at the black woman as being the devil. I was never fucking with Eve. Like, I mean, I fucked with Eve, but not like, I knew they were the devil. It just flew out of my mouth, brother. Hey, so what are you, how about you, how was shot? The Lord was with me. I, we both said it together. He said, fuck him, fuck him. I said, the devil. <laughs> right? See that? You know, you it's a, it's a, all of a sudden, Apostle Tahar started cursing that dude out. He said, and he said, you know what? He said, you wrong, you right. He pointed to both, he pointed to the dude Shabbat. He said, you're wrong, and brother, you right. And then he started, then he just started laying into the dude Shabbat. <laughs> you know what, brother? See, that's your problem, man. See that, man? You in the wrong spirit, man. See that, man? See, that shows you ain't in the right, that shows you where your mind is, man. See, you know he just started laying into the dude. So that shows where your mind is, brother. See, you ain't in the spirit, man. He said, what's y'all ranks? So he asked, he asked, 
He said, what's your rank? He asked the dude, Shabal. He said, I'm a soldier. Then he said, baby, you, what's your rank? I said, hey, uh, uh, you know, Jim Carl, you know, I'm a soldier too. He said, you know what? He said, who's over who? I said, he's over me, you know. He said, no, nah, you know what? Really, you should be over him. <laughs> he said that to wow. me. He said, you know what? As a matter of fact, man, you get in the back and you come up front. I never forget this shit, bro. There's a true story. You can ask the apostle to hire Like, he, he might not remember, but once, if I remember that day, he, he'll remember it. So yeah, I remember that day. Yeah, brother, so he told this nigga, you, you get in the back and he told, you, brother, you, 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 you come up front. <laughs> right, right, so the nigga Shabal, he, oh, he was like, he got in the back and I, I, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so he, at that moment, he just raised me up over this dude. Just like that. So that, but that was, brother, that's a hell of a, yeah. see, that's, that's another story from back in the days. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he was my dude at the time, so I felt a little bad inside, but I'm like, hey, nigga. <laughs> yo, yo, what can I, 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 you know what I mean? So, you understand, brother? So I'm telling that story just to give, you know, for you elders, and especially for the young men, the type of spirit that we're supposed to be in, man. You understand? So, going back to, like, seek out the glory for such as be like unto thee, you got to have a hatred for these people. You gotta have a hatred for these people. So when the Apostle Taha asked me that question, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord was with me to say what came out of my mouth, right? It was mercy, but I really felt that way. I wasn't faking it. I ain't no faking he man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really felt that way. I really had hate for, for black people, especially black women. So we're only supposed to care about the brothers and the truth, the elect. That's why, and, and, the, and that's the proof. So anybody gets simple, uh, you know, people watch, uh, uh, fuck you, shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Read on. I got a yes, sir, come on with it. Uh, James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Oh, uh, there you go, there you go. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is enemy to you, is an enemy to Yahweh. So the people that... Like the scripture says, well, who so justified the wicked and condemneth the just? These wicked niggas get angry at us because we cursing our Big Shirley. Big Shirley is nothing but Satan. That's Satan. That's an abomination. Okay, that's the... <laughs> I'm going to make a joke. That's the abomination, the desolation spoken of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, come on, man. Niggas get mad at us. <laughs> Wow. Wow. See? That, 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 that's the spirit. That, see? Causing havoc. Out here, this wreaking havoc. Me and Murph was talking about that shit uh, last night. Yeah, Big Shirley, they the reason why people get killed. That's the reason why there's accidents. That's the reason why a lot of bad things happen, bro, because Big Shirley start shit. They start trouble. But first of all, if you look at somebody that is, if you have a woman, that's this tall, tall as this stand, and you weigh 200 pounds, something's wrong with you. That's a mental fucking disturbance. Fucking, I'm not, I'm not even getting extreme tonight. 200 pounds. Okay, and you mother, I'm, I'm biting off Kevin. I'm just telling the truth. If you're a woman and you weigh 200 pounds, you got a fucking problem. You got a mental disturbance. Okay, and then, you take a woman like that, okay, watch out, the big Shirley might run us over. Oh, oh, oh no, who, who's driving the car? <laughs> who was the Eve? Keisha. I'd be scared of them, man, because they'll, they'll crash into us. They, brother, they're demented. A black woman behind the wheel of a car? Hey, man, don't you brothers ever get behind the wheel of a car with no black woman. Uh-uh, don't do it. Don't do it, brother, that's a lesson. Hey, man, you understand? But you heard the precept? Read that again, Brother Baba Kishar. Right. Four four. You he must be out of your mind. Hold on one second. You must be out of your mind. You gonna get in the car and let a black woman drive the car? Your car? No woman talking about you get in the car with your woman. And then, man, matter of fact, don't let no woman drive. Apostle Taha said that years ago. Yeah. I said I drive. No, no, look, I'm driving. Look at the fucking car. I'm driving. I'm driving. <laughs> okay? 
I didn't let no woman drive me. And you ain't driving my truck. My ex-woman, she wanted to drive my truck. Let me tell you, I said, you ain't driving my fucking truck. Why? Because you want to drive. You ain't crashing much shit. But I'll drive your car. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Salak. Like Days for more. Be adulterous and adulterous. <laughs> know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Uh, it, it, see, you're the enemy of the most high if you love people in the world, but you hate men of the Lord, man. That's so all these people that come against the scoffers, they get mad at us because we getting on Big Shirley and Pookie and Ray Ray. Y'all, y'all, y'all talk, y'all always talking shit about somebody. Y'all hate your own people. Well, no, we don't. I don't hate my own people. I, I, I don't. I really don't, brother. Somebody tell me how I hate my own people. I love my people. Because <laughs> my people are standing right in front of me. Okay? <laughs> my people are standing right in front of me. <laughs> you know? So, so... I, I, I don't hate my people. I love my people. These, these motherfuckers out here, I don't know who they are. <laughs> and the scriptures back that up. It says, uh, uh, oh, and the Apostle Paul said, ye in past times being Gentiles. That's right. So he was telling the brothers, look, when before y'all came in the truth, y'all were, were heathens. Remember? Yes, so the, everything is scripturally backed up. Yeah. If you're not in the truth, you're a heathen. Yeah. Your exactly. parents, if your parents, hey, they're your parents still, but they're heathens. Your sister, your brother, your son, your daughter, whoever. Your homeboy that you grew up and went, went to school with, they're heathens. You might be cool with them and shit, but they're heathens. So these people in the world, bro, they're heathens. They are not of the of the covenant. Uh-oh. The new covenant, eh? <laughs> Open up a can of worms, right? Was there more there, uh, 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 Ayash? Was there more there? No, it was it. Okay, now uh, finish up over there, brother. Then I want that Isaiah 29 and 10 still, man. Well, actually, 9. Well, go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra 8:51. But well, understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. That's why we're supposed to be looking for the elect, bro. We're only looking for the elect. So we out here on the street, but we teach them. We're not trying to save everybody. That's why we teach the way we teach. We're not trying to say to anybody. Either. Black people. Black people. We're not here to try to save anybody, man. We are here teaching because this is what the Lord told us to do. This is a uh, uh this is a, this, this is called uh the fact that we gotta stand out here on this corner in the cold, right? This is called uh, uh being made a spectacle onto the world. Fool being fools for Yahweh right. for Yahweh Shah's sake. We got to do this until the Lord say not to. This is a part of it. We got to be made full. We got bad people looking at it. Who the fuck these crazy motherfuckers doing out here? Right? Present your body a living sacrifice. Cut. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Out here in the cold. Right? Uh, according to the people in the world, there's a lot better things we could be doing, right? We could be sitting across the, house, across the street up in the yard house. Right? Eating chicken, right? Sipping on some drinks, right? Or brothers could be with their old lady. Or we could be at the movies right now, right? Mm -hmm. But no, we are here doing the work of the Lord. That's the sacrifice. You see what I'm saying? We are here because the Lord is still sealing the elect. By us being out here, the Lord may bring some one of the elect past here. Or they might see it on um they might see it on the camera. But outside of that part, uh 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 um this is present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Because the elect, if they out there, they're going to see it, whether they roll up on the camp, whether they see us on the camera, however the Lord's going to do it. You know what I mean? However the Lord's going to do it. But we only out here for the elect. Okay? We ain't trying to save everybody, man. That's why years ago, we stopped years ago. We, we, you know, we used to have the literature and shit, the literature bucket, the donation bucket, the literature bucket. Back in the day, we used to have all that, right? The literature bucket, the donation bucket. And then we have a brother standing like like this, y'all in the camp. The, the, the people come up, yeah, handing out the literature. Everybody that came up got literature, you know, the little literature, the scriptures on it and stuff like that. Man, we stopped doing that shit years ago. Apostle Dawson, man, fuck, man, fuck that, man. We only for the elect. The elect gonna come anyway, brother. You understand what I'm saying? So 
we ain't trying to save everybody. When I first came in the truth, man, me and brothers with me, man, we was trying to teach everybody. Every Jake, every Jake that we came across, we was trying to teach him. Every Jake, we was trying to teach him. Every fucking Jake that we came across. Me and Apostle Gabal get on the train, trying to teach people, prophesying on the train, in New York up there, in the subway. A woman, every woman you got with, you was trying to turn him into an Israelite woman. Every woman. Because you thought that was the shit some of them guys in the school was pushing to us. Yeah, you gotta teach, you gotta teach. Israel, brother, you're a woman. She's an Israelite woman. You gotta certain some of the knucklehead leaders that was there. Not the top elders, but certain other knuckleheads. So every woman I got with, I was trying to make her, I thought I had to convert her into being, and they wasn't trying to hear this shit. Or even the ones that did, yeah, and that teach me. And there would still be demons. There would still be demons anyway. And Apostle Tahar, the one that told me, look, brother, he said, look, there was another conversation me and Apostle Tahar had back in the night. We were sitting in the car alone. He said, brother, let me tell you something, brother. He said, listen, man, you look, brother, you look, 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 man, stop trying to teach these damn women, man. He said, look, brother, look, brother, man, look, man, you don't gotta be, look, you don't gotta teach them the truth, man. Matter of fact, brother, when you meet these women, man, don't even tell them, just tell them, you tell them you're regular, my name is Joe, whatever your name is, just tell them that, man. Just make them, just tell them you're a regular guy. Just pretend and act like you, you're not in the truth, like you're just a regular drink. And you, you just pop them. <laughs> that was it. They eventually find out. Yeah, they eventually kind of find out. <laughs> eventually find out. They do, they do, no, you're right. Let's shout them all me. Because they nosy. <laughs> because, what that mean? Because they nosy, because they nosy. Yeah. But you know, and initially, you don't gotta come on. Look, sister. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't gotta do all that. I got three seconds. Romans 11 and 7. What demon Israel have not obtained that which you seek of him. Yeah, he's being the devil for attention. But Flexing. The, what then? Israel have not obtained that uh, which you seek of him. Yeah. But the election have obtained it. Oh. And the rest were blind. And the rest, oh, and that's, get that Isaiah 29. Yeah. Read that, read it quick, quick. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 9. And the rest were blinded, right? Uh -huh. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Now we jump right into that. Stay yourselves in wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. Yeah, these niggas is tight. <laughs> <laughs> they tight out here. They tight all right. <laughs> and not with no motherfucking uh, 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 muscatel. <laughs> Martel. Yeah, Martel. Mar Martel. They ain't the, the, or some Grey Goose or some Belvedere. They drunk with demons. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I said Muscatel. Martel. <laughs> hey, well, they, they drunk on that too. These niggas are drunk. And the thing that they, they drunk on rock gut liquor. The things they believe in, they drunk on some rock gut liquor. Not even the good shit. Yeah, no, then the niggas drunk on Muscatel <laughs> yeah. and Thunderbird yeah, yeah. And, and Boone's Farms. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, what's that cheap vodka? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, uh, Ma Ma Majoski. Ma that's good right there. Majoski vodka. That shit that have you throwing up and shit like that. They drunk on that. Yeah, how you fighting the brick wall? Yeah, have you fighting the damn brick wall? Okay, you yeah. see what I'm saying? They drunk with demons. Right. We can see it. You can clearly see it. You got Teddy Grahams and all these other guys out here, Winnie the Poohs running around here doing all kind of talking all kind of crazy shit. Niggas out there talking about you could be a sodomite to your woman and all this other. You, and you can and you can do it on the Sabbath. And you can do it. Well, General Johanna said so. You can do it on the Sabbath. Now, why would you, only a reprobate person would even come up with that thought in their mind to speak that type of shit to, to in front of brothers. I'm gonna stand here and tell you, brother, you could pop your woman in the butt on the Sabbath. Why would you even say something like that? Reprobate. That's a reprobate. But read on, brother. That's it, that's what we read now. Yep, no, okay. I, 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 no, 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 but this was the scripture saying, reprobate concerning the faith. Yep. You know, these guys come with these different doctrines and, you know, it, it don't be according to the scriptures, you know. Be con. according to their own lust and, and will. Con, con, know? con. You're teaching them the mark of the beast is the, uh, is, is the white woman. It's the white woman. You know, it's just all other kind of, kind of madness, man. 
and the ball go. Or, or, or the, 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 the natives or in the, in the, in the, in the damn Latinos are not Israelites. Well, they, they're not Israelites. You know? They're not Israelites. But, but yet, you got them in the truth. Yeah, but they but they in the camps. But they in the camps. So what are they doing in the camps? Why you got heathens in the camps? Why you got heathens in the camps if that's the case? To show you they, they ain't spiritual. They're not spiritual, but they have reprobate. Well, that's the scripture in Romans. What is it? Romans, the first chapter. Therefore, because they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, for this cause the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind. You see? The Most High put all kind of dip. But they started going off and God, a lot of these guys started going off. And that was talking about guys that was in the truth. They're going off in the other doctrines, so the Most High put more demons on them. And blinded them more. We done. They said they staggered, but that was strong drink. That's these guys. They staggering all the way the hey, fuck out. Hey, the, the motherfuckers that was once in the camp, they be the worst scoffers. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they become the worst scoffers. Yeah, that's you know? right. That's right. And the guys that, that never even stepped a foot in the camp. Gun, that's and right. That nigga award. Yep. He's not prophesying. That nigga is scoffing. That's it. Every video he do, he do out, that's a scoff. Yeah, you know? that's it. Because if you're not teaching what Great Mills on his teeth, you're scoffing. Yeah, him and, you know? him, him and Winnie the Pooh, that's with him. <laughs> yeah, Teddy Graham. Teddy Graham. You're going to play your commercial tonight, later. <laughs> yeah, we found your commercial. We found it, man. We were watching it the other night. We found your commercial. Yeah, brother. <laughs> For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And have closed your eyes. Yeah. The prophets and your rulers, the seers have been there you go. The prophets and the rulers, the seers, guys that were so-called in the truth. They the worst. That's why Ezekiel 9 and 4 says what? And begin in my sanctuary. So the, the, the death toll is going to start amongst Israel. Then the Lord going to double back to these niggas in the world. Then Big Shirley, Keisha, Rasputia, Shanene, Pookie, Ray Ray, Dewan. They going to get it. You see what I'm saying? Was there more there? Was there more there? Guys, guys, uh, it, uh, it says, so the vision of all has become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned. Right, right, right. And the book is sealed, right? Now it's going to put those false prophets. Yeah. It's here. So them demons were on it, but when they walked by the camp, right. none of us, when they walked by it. Yeah, yeah. Clowns. Like, there's nothing but a bunch of clowns. Just clowns. Nothing but a bunch of fucking, but that's this society. That's, see, I, well, I was telling you that on the side. In this world, people think it's, that's, it's cute to be a weirdo and act stupid and fuck with people and disrespect people. And that's cute. It's, it's cool, man, until you get your ass fucked up. Then it's not funny. When you lay on the floor, oh, yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> right, we go, oh, man. Come on, man. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Then it's, what a minute, oh, hey, ah, come on, buddy. <laughs> See, the world I grew up in, bro. Well, you know, we're in a different world. We're in a different world now. The world I grew up in, the way I grew up and was raised, <laughs> you didn't disrespect people. If you disrespected people, yeah, we're in Toontown. The world I grew up in, for you young brothers, the world I, myself and some of the brothers, me, Ash, and these, some of these brothers, you know, us older brothers, the world we grew up in, shit like that was acceptable. Because there's an automatic ass whooping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. White boys too, man. Yeah. When I was growing up, man, like a white boy, man, you like, what mother? Boom! It was just automatic, man. I think, man, you will never let no fucking white boy disrespect you. So it was an automatic, you getting fucked up. Put the, put the ass. That was it. You knew the consequences. You knew it. You knew if you fucked up, you knew the consequences. Even us being the Israelites, being the Jets. You knew it. You disrespected the next man. You knew that. So if you did something, you had that many demons on you that you knew, hey, man, you got to deal with the, con the repercussions. You mess with another man's woman, you knew he was going to serve you. <laughs> you stole from another man, yo, you knew, you knew what the consequences was going to be. <laughs> you, 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 that was the world we grew up in. You knew that. But today, these GMO mother, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, they can come up in your face acting stupid, then it's like, yo, my man, rock. You know what I'm saying? Or you just pull out a gun and blow him away. Or you pull out a blade. And, yeah, Tonto. You see what I'm saying? Right. Listen to the news. You, you hearing it? 
gun. People shot. A lot of people are dying over stupid shit. Motherfuckers be backing out there. You motherfuckers are getting killed over drugs. Or a motherfucker stole his drugs. So he shot him. Or even he messed with his woman, so he shot him. Or uh, he stole his car. You know what I mean? Or he, he disrespected his money. You know, some crazy shit. Now, a lot of people are just getting killed over shit like that. Retarded shit. Doing retarded shit. I'm sorry, Salakia. But the people that's out here, they crazy too. So if you got one psychotic person coming up on another person that ain't wrapped right in the head, GMO baby, they going yo man, boom, boom. These little GMO babies is offing each other just for nothing. And that happened the other day, right down the street at the uh, football stadium. Uh, a guy who walked up, hey, he looked the man. Yeah. 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 Motherfuckers got demon. Well, I'm going to tell the story. Well, look, man, shit, we, what we do is legal. Yeah, we can't, you know, we don't carry our stuff at the camp. We're not like other like Sakari and them, you know, but we legally carry, you know, we carry weapons legally, right, when we're not at the camp, you know. I, you know, I don't care. I ain't got my shit on me yet. Yeah, right, you know, I left it, you know, but that's legal, so we ain't going off. Me and this brother, matter of fact, I think we was driving right down from down one, one day, the last time I was here. We in the car, and some weird old nigga, he, remember he, 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 he yeah. and then, you know, we had to kind of, you know, he, he, we was like, yo, man, keep it moving, bro, keep it moving. Did he, oh, shit, you know, we both was like, yo, my man, keep it moving, keep it moving. You no, know, no, no, he, he kept it moving. See what I'm saying? He could, you, you rolling up on mother, he, like, he was going to roll up to the, to the damn car, right? We had to tell him, you know, we had to tell him, yo, yo, my man, keep it moving. Keep it moving. You don't want this. And then he quickly came back, right? He came. Yeah. <laughs> walked up. See? See what I'm saying? They got demons on them. But it was a whole bunch of eat on the street. He didn't go and harass them. And we in the car. See what I'm saying? But let's say if we was two other dudes. Let's say if we was two other two other motherfuckers he the guy you know you know two other guys that's not in the truth that's not spiritual men two other bugged out niggas that was passionate he the guy popped stupid shit you understand was there more but once again that's a product of big I saw a couple of bus streakers now that's a product of big surely I know where they went no, they disappeared. Oh, no, no. We know where they went. <laughs> yeah. Yard house. <laughs> Look at what? Look at what? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Ezekiel, Daniel, yeah, the seventh chapter. Never going to those things. Revelation, the twelfth chapter. Break it down, Volcat. Oh, but please don't, because you're going to butcher it. You know? But, but yet, you know, they, they try to condemn us, but yet, yeah. you can't break down the scriptures, you know? And the scriptures say it is, it is sealed. It is also written, the Lord revealed the secrets to a service of prophets. Yo, guys. So it's not been yeah, right. up? Right. Right. What's up? All right. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Says, and the book is delivered to him. Yeah, and one, 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 thirteen and fourteen. Yeah. Okay, I, I, mean, I, I do give private lessons. They some jakes, man. They play some jakes, man. I do give private lessons. I don't know. I don't know. There might be some jakes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's the dude, the woman, or what. But I saw you. I don't know. Nah. Like, like the first chicken. Yeah, yeah, no, the second one, she, she was watching, see? I told you, brother, man, they're trying to get choked, man. She was fine, man. She looks tired. <laughs> Go here. Yeah. I did pride the lessons. But, but I, 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 I still got uh, some, 
to this, uh, to this room. Anybody else? So you done with that? Pull something up the camera. Go ahead. See, look, it's a little to him that it's not learned saying, read this, I pray to you. He saith, I have not learned. Right. But for the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near, feed with their mouth and with their lips, should the honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. Yeah, hey, they, hey, they remove their, far, their heart far from me, I mean, when they, their, their mind, when they hear these words, they don't want to heed to them. They don't want to heed to them, but they'd rather hear what the so-called white man say because it's, it's according to their own, their, own, their own flesh. It's more according to their flesh, man. You know? Go ahead, brother. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work in a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. That's right. And the understanding of the prudent men shall be hid. That's right. Yep, and that's why they're not able to run this economy back out of the mud, man. No, that's why they're going to have to re restart this whole system with a more oppressive system because they don't have that knowledge anymore, man. They don't have that knowledge of how to how to make things flourish because the Lord is the Lord is moving that wisdom from them. Because this kiss this kingdom can't stand. It's unjust. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, beginning of verse 7. It says, But they also have erred through wine, and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They're out of the way. The strong drink. Right, right. And they, they get that wine to the mass. You know? They give it to it. They make everybody else. <clears throat> yeah. And they, they, they pass the pump down. You know? They pass the bottle around. With rock gut liquor and to boot. And, and they say, hey, you be, be drunk with it. You know? And like I said, it's not even good wine. Yeah, it's not. It's like I said, it's booze farms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, headache juice. Yeah, that, that's what they got the people on. It's not even good shit. Shitting like crazy. Cisco. Oh, Cisco. Oh, boy. <laughs> it says they err in vision. They stumble in judgment. Right, right, right. They err in vision, man. All right. Well, first of all, the vision is only given to the elect. All right. <laughs> and really, the prophets, of the, the prophets of the elect, all right? So the prophets got to gotta break it down for, for the rest of the elect, you know? Because even, even with enough, we had to go get it. We had to get it from the elders. That's so we, right. We didn't get it through by ourselves, you know? Then we have to come up on a level, you know? Go ahead. Verse 8, it says, For all tables are full of vomit and uh -huh. filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Right, so, so, so it's nasty, you know, it's filthy, you know? So what these people is, is learning, what these people is, uh, are receiving from, from their pastors, from the schools, you know, from, from, their, from their mothers, their, their, their grandfathers, yeah. you know, guess what? It's all filthy. From their generals, yeah, from, their, yeah. from their high, from their chief high priests. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Dude. From their bishops, right? Oh, that dude, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's about doing he told Will Smith, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do some coke and go pop. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Who, who, no. He didn't tell Will Smith to do that. He told yeah. Chris, yeah. Chris, Rock. Yeah, that was Chris Rock to do it. Rock. Yeah. 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 Go, go, go get coked up and go pop. Get a pen. Yeah. You know? He should have been kicked out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been putting that on top. Don't get dope. <laughs> White Castle. <laughs> uh, see, see what you're doing. You go ahead. Go ahead. See, I, I can look. You young guys can't look. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm not a young guy. Nah, I got it. I'm gonna jump back into this. <laughs> 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 Isaiah chapter 34, and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. It's not about the prophecy. It says, One mouth they have commanded, and his spirit 
It has gathered them. Right. Gather what? The elect. Right. It has gathered them. Like you're going to say, we only look at the what? The elect. All right? You read the Romans. What? The rest of the land. That's the right. Okay? It's written uh, in the book of uh, Zechariah 2 30 day and you know, we cut off the dot. Alright? So we already know, hey, we, we got a it's a number that's not gonna make it. A lot of Israel is gonna be put to death on Mountain of niggas. Niggas on top of niggas. Oh yeah, it's gonna you be know? bad. It's gonna be bad, man. Go ahead. Just look, Israel is the biggest nation. So guess what? You gonna you gonna be the 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 the, 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 the the most of the dead people out here, yeah, you know, the, the for the nukes sake, you know, precept, for the nukes, uh, burn your ass up, go ahead, and then you're going to come back as, 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 as a baby in the kingdom, all right, then when you go, to, and that's why Apostle Paul said all Israel should be saved, mm -hmm. and that's why it's going to be saviors on what, Mount Zion, that's why you're going to be saved through us, through our nut sacks, that's, that's right, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Which means in the kingdom, what? There's going to be a lot of sex. Right. Hey, brother, 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 don't worry about sex. Here, man, you, if you ain't getting the you pussy, know? here, you're going to get it in the kingdom. Yeah, and it's going to be a virgin. You don't have to worry about being ran through. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a virgin. You ain't going to get no woman that other niggas already ran yeah. through it already. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, that this world is disgusting. Man, it's a fucked up world, man. Sick. Yo, when I think, when you think about it, it kind of, in a way, it kind of do make you want to be a eunuch. Yes. Like, 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 when you think about just, it, it's like, yo, wait a minute, okay. Yo, we all just trying to get with these hoes. Other niggas didn't shot up the spot on them, man. And they, and they, and they got a nerve to be kind of stingy with that little Yeah, and be stingy with the shit. Be fucking selective with that. Yeah, these cookies is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you going up inside there, but another dude and been up in there and shot up the spot, but you putting your shit where another nigga that had his, and he just shot up the spot. How long? And left tokens behind. Yeah. Right. Left, left, left. Uh, uh, what, what's that another, shit? There? Another little pookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pookie left behind gift cards. And yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you going in there, man. And then you gonna put up, man, brothers, man. Man, I'm gonna up. Don't you none, don't put up, don't put up with no shit for none of these women, man. That's, there ain't nothing special about them. Unless when you got with her, she was a virgin. Other than that, you get with these regular hoes and she didn't do that. Man, you tell that bitch to give, give that bitch your ass to kiss. Anytime a woman start acting, just when you young brothers especially, man. Anytime a woman start acting up, you give that bitch your ass to kiss. I'm dead serious, man. All kind of niggas that ran through her, shot up the spot, and she gonna get with that. that, 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 that. Uh, man, fuck you. Yeah. You know what I mean? For real. I'll get on you now, You got brothers getting all weak and simple over some damn woman, man. At this point now, we too close with the. With the yo, man, we too. Uh, man, man, we way past what's with the uh, with, with the half halfway point. You know, in football, what we call it. Uh, 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 <laughs> we're in the fourth yeah, quarter. We're going to be running into overtime. Yeah, we're running into overtime now. The game is almost over. You know what I'm saying? Go yeah, ahead, brother. Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, they get into all kinds of problems. <laughs> right, but they never find the truth. Man. You know, that's why when you read what's that Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, the Lord said, uh, uh, "You're gonna be uh, uh, broken, broken, broken in the dark." You know, you know, or what? Broken? No, it said, oh, man, man, man. "Open in the noonday." You know, go ahead. But the election have obtained it. But the election have obtained it. Go ahead. And the rest of life. Right. So really, you shouldn't even get mad for the nigga can't get it. Hey, he, he just not of the elect. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So don't, don't get mad. Yeah, don't even get sad. Like the cops will fuck him. Yeah. Let him die to death, man. Yeah. You know? Cause look. Look at this nigga that passed. Cause look, that was probably one of the niggas that gave up your shot that, that that said what? Let, let his blood be upon us and us. Yeah. Yeah. That was he was probably one of them. He was probably the the, 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 the nigga in the front row. 
Yep. You know? Like, you did have some of them actually repent when you read the book of Acts. You know? The first and the second chapter. You know? We're going here. According to this written, uh -huh. that I will have given them the spirit of slumber. Yeah, the spirit of slumber. They sleep, man. All right? Which means what? Even even when they walking around, they, they in the fucking sleeping bag. Yeah, bro. All right. Yeah. When they go to work, they're in a sleeping bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? It's true for serious, man. It's for real. Yeah. Go ahead. Eyes that they should not see. Eyes, yeah. They, got, they actually have eyes, man. Right? Okay? Go ahead. <laughs> ears that should not hear. And that's, and that's spiritual talk. You know, spiritual talk, man. Which means what? You can't actually, uh, 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 what I'm looking for? You can't comprehend. The Lord got it that, that way. You can't spiritually comprehend it, right? What's that in um, Matthew? Uh, I pipe the team, you have not given it. But that, that's because what? You don't know the song. Matter of fact, it says, uh, Revelation 14, it says, only, only the, the 144,000 can what? Can sing the song. Come right? on. Okay, go ahead. It says, unto this day. Uh -huh. And David says, let their table be a snare. Yeah, let their table be a snare. So they so so they, they worship the so-called black man. That's a snare. Alright? If, if 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 they the fucking basketball shit, the football shit, if they get into that, they wanna go to the to the NBA, the, the fucking uh, NFL, that's a snare. Alright? Yeah, college, all that shit, man. Come on. Because Paul said, look, man, I, I cast all that shit behind me, all right? He said, therefore, I press towards the mark. Okay, go ahead. And the trap. <laughs> God damn. There's a heavy going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. shit is popping yeah. up. You know? yeah. Something yeah. happening. been out trying to break it down to a nigga and he still be still just <laughs> <Come on. laughs> right. you know you 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 done, you done, you done, you done broke it down so you can't break it down no more but that's the word of the lord the, the, those angels come and just just block them from it man yeah you know and you go home you just flaming hot in the pork chop come yeah or you didn't know? say yeah and you yeah. Right, right right yeah right right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 But he never, you know, you can come to it. And I'm sure the past song is the people get killed. Everybody get killed. Get killed down the top. Go ahead. Can I ask something? Because that word snare, it drops to the word, yeah, gin. Yeah, gin going to gin. So when they would make the, you know, to that war, the gin would be your wish. Ultimately, it'll be for your horn. It seemed like it'll be good yeah. at the beginning, but it'll end up being to the yeah. For your own destruction. Yeah, yeah. 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 wish master. Yeah, 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 these jeans people started with the college. College used to be free. Now people know what? Know what? College used to be free until they started letting Jake go to college. Yeah. College used to be free. You know? Hey, so no, we need niggas no free education. You know? No free training. I was watching that. We got Lisa that was on that little black chick. She was like, there's more people graduate from college, but the people are so much dumber. Like they're, they're graduating dummies, man. Like I was watching a little interview. She said most people are graduating from like but never before, but everybody was dumb, man. Come on. Like she just said in the interview. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the 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 the
Yeah. 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 Run yeah. across the days, get your little piece of paper, man. And guess what? You know what you're going to do? You're going to work at Mickey D. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Scoop it. And, and you $150,000 in debt. Well, my man Kevin Samuels went all into that. So you, and, and, Mc, yeah. and McDonald's ain't going to pay that off. You're going to make them, them double chickens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, you're so going to be like, right at Amazon. And, and they're going to they gonna start garnishing your checks. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to make what two three hundred dollars there you yeah. know they're gonna take they're gonna your taxes they're gonna take 50 percent of that shit yeah that's right they're gonna take your taxes yeah yeah they're gonna take your taxes mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right down the list. Yeah. 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 They don't work in their trade. Yeah. 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 They go into yeah. something else. Yeah. It's, 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 it's totally yeah. 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 Go ahead, brother. <laughs> David said, let the table be a stair uh -huh. and a trap and a stumbling block. A trap and a stumbling block. All right. Go ahead. And a record that's uh -huh. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back. So that's, a, that's a curse. That's a curse, man. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. And, and even Jeremiah cursed you, nigga. Let me go ahead over here. I've been saying, I've been when I lived in North Carolina. <laughs> you had Edomites that graduated from uh, North Carolina and Duke. I just ride a bike. They couldn't find a job in the future. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Like, so like I was saying, that was, that was a curse, man. Yeah. You know, Jeremiah cursed you, cursed you niggas. You know? <laughs> Who got that script on? Uh, yeah. I'll pipe it to you, yeah, my dad. I was warning to you, yeah, not laminate. Yeah, not laminate. <laughs> It smacked that shit. Mm -hmm. right. Something's going on tonight out here, man. Yeah. All them sirens, police, fire engines, man. Some judgment. See, judgment. You're going to be hearing that every night. Mm -hmm. Lord is bringing judgments, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Something happening tonight. Oh, yeah. It's saying, we have pipe unto you, and ye have not danced. We have pipe unto you, but ye have not danced, right? Go ahead. We have warned unto you. Yeah, man. Right, you know what? When you hear a song that, that you actually like, you turn that shit up. Right? Come on. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Sway to it. Like, yeah, this is my girlfriend. Right? Right? Yeah. But when they walk past, they can close their fucking ears. Right? Yeah. Precept. Yeah. 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 Another word for your trach. Precept. Yeah. Another word for your trach. Bring it out. Yeah, kind of, kind of. And another yeah. word for your trach is your windpipe. Yeah. You know, they say, oh, you know, open up when you're singing, they say, open up your pipes. Well, we piping it to you to the words of the Lord, man, the words of prophecy. You know? You know, and you dancing as you step into this. That's right. Yeah, you know? That's right. Okay. Yeah, John came to the church and they say he has the devil. Right, so yeah, John came, came not eating or drinking, they say he was the devil, right? right. Because when a man can't eat and drink it, they say, Behold, a man gluttonous. So you can't please a nigga. Kind. You can't please a fucking nigga, man. No matter what, if you a man of the Lord, they're going to have a problem with you, man. Uh, 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 uh. Deliver us from wicked and reasonable You're men. You're right, kind. Look at Thessalonians. Yeah. They're going to they, they gonna, they gonna find something to nitpick at. Yeah. 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 Look at this glass. This glass has got tin on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be something, you bro. Know, it's gonna be something, man. 
because they're faggots. They're females. They're really females. That's it. It's only for elect anyway. It's just justified in the children. Matter of fact, the scripture says, hey, the, 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 the only people that's actually justifiable is what? The elect. Wisdom is justified in their children. Go ahead. Then began, began he to upgrade the cities where he most of his mighty works. Yeah, he got to cussing those niggas out. <laughs> right, you can stop right there though. Go ahead, brother. You can get what you got real quick. Hey, this is that uh Luke 19 and 27. <laughs> but those, my enemies, yeah. which which would yeah, that I not that I shall not reign over them. Uh -huh. Which would not. <laughs> which would not. Which would not that I should reign over them. Mm -hmm. Bring them here and slay them before me. Right. So a lot of niggas gonna get put to death. And that, and that day a lot of you gonna get gathered up. All right. I mean, mainly you, you you fucking on the book of Ezekiel speak about the uh, the, the rebels. Yeah. Right? You fucking rebels, man. That's right. You fucking Sakari niggas. Kind. A lot of you yeah. niggas you gonna, you gonna get your head put on the fucking chopping block. Yep. Con. Con. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, Go St. John, uh, 10 to 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. Right. They follow me. Right, my soul is sheep. All right, they gonna they gonna they gonna hear the Lord's voice. You know, right? When you go go when you go into sheep, right? That that shepherd. When you go into the science, they only know they only hearken to that shepherd's voice, man. You know, they they if, if you was a random person, they won't listen to your ass. You know. So so if you follow Yahweh Shine in the past, you are gonna follow him now. You know, and then, if you fell out then, you are gonna fell out now. It's gonna fall out now. All right. Go ahead, and just hit and repeat itself. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and, that's right. And I give unto them eternal life. That, 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 that's why Apostle Paul said, "Marvel not." All right. He said, I, "Well, no, I think Paul said, I, I marvel that ye are so." That's what he said. He didn't say marvel not. <laughs> but, but he, he didn't say. But he said, "I marvel that ye." But Paul said, "Damn, that was fast, though." So from the faith, yeah, that was fast. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, right, which yeah. is not another guy. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse 28. And I give up to them eternal life, right. and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Right. Oh, man, that's beautiful, man. So you you, 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 can't, you can't condemn the elect. You can't curse the elect. I mean, really, you're cursing your goddamn self, man. All right? But you don't want to hear that, though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That, that's real talk, you know? That's real fucking talk, bro. Real talk, bro. Real talk. Real talk. Hey, so you know, there's a fucking shit that's bucking up. Enemies of the cross, man. You just condemning yourself, man. You know? You're trying to put your own ass in the hot water, man. You're trying to put your own ass in the hot water, man. Go ahead. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man. Hey, that's true. I to me. You know? My father, which gave them me, is greater than all, right? and no man is ever told him. So really, it was the little you know, yeah, robots. Like, huh, these, these, these are the elect. They're gonna follow you. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> go ahead. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. See, and no man. So really, hey, it's all, all up to the heavenly father. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. As I live, see how it shall, as I die, see how it shall. I and my father are one. Right, and they, and they are one. They agree. That's what it means. They agree. All right. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 33. And it reads, Who shall lay anything to the charge of the house of life? Right, who shall lay anything? Right, so you, you, can't, you can't condemn us, man. Because look, we're, we're the potential elect. You can't condemn us. We can condemn you. That's right. That's right. right. God. That's right. Look, for, for example, look, we're doing the work that the elect is going to actually do. 
the scripture say, give diligence to make thou calling of election sure. Right? And then when you go into the book of what? Thessalonians? No, I think it's Ephesians, right? It says what? Put on the elect. When you look up that word put on, it means what? The garment, man. The That's garment right, represents huh? the truth, man. God. Okay? So, 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 so if you're part of the elect, you're going you're gonna to do the work, man. All right? That's right, man. God. Go ahead. It is Yahweh that justifies. Right. See, it's Yahweh. See, man, it's beautiful. We're going to move right up with that, man. It is the most high that picks it. the most high that justifies, man. Precept. This is the most high that, that matter of fact, uh, uh, they say the low most high is not giving us the spirit of uh, fear, but of sound man. He put the spirit on us, man. You know? Uh, uh, Isaiah said, the spirit, of, is, the spirit is upon me to what? Preach good tidings to the meat? So the Lord put that spirit on us and stand out in the clothes. Stand out in the heat. Yeah. Make videos. That's you right. Know? That's why Apostle Gabar, you always say, it's not of us that, that we got to do those videos and all on the highway. That's not us. Oh, the Lord. Yeah, that's the Lord. That's, that, that is not us, man. Right. Deal with the ridicule. <laughs> all that, that shit. Is, that's not us, man. We need to come up and go and dig up the precepts. That's not us. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord got a spirit on yeah. us to do this year that's after year. That's the spirit of the Lord. After man. year, yeah, totally. The Lord got a well. Uh, the Lord got a spirit on us, man. Yeah, that's why King David said, "What? Well, take not thy Holy Spirit from me." It's the Holy Spirit of the Lord that compels us to. Okay, Saturday, or Friday night, we gotta go to camp. Uh, we gotta, we gotta get together for class. We gotta, you know what I mean? I gotta do my videos. You know you gotta do your videos, but the Spirit compels you to do it. You know what yep. I mean? Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't have a teleprompter of what we're going to go into. Right. Yeah, like, you, you just go out and you know it. <laughs> you, you going in. Go ahead. John chapter 15, beginning in verse 16. It says, ye have not chosen me. So like, let me read that. The book of John chapter 15, verse 16. Uh -huh. It says, ye have not chosen me. But I have chosen yeah, you. Yeah, definitely you got it fucked up at, man. You can, you can just come and just serve the Lord. All right? You can spirit it in truth. First, first of all, to, to, to come and tell you, you got to be part of that. All right? Unless you was what? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, correct and unaware. All right? For the condemnation. All right? And it, look, and that was still the Lord. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> that was still the Lord. Right. You know, you have to play your part. Go ahead. Since I have chosen you and ordained you. Right? I, I have chosen you and I have ordained. So what do you look at that? Ordained minister. Yeah, or, or ordained minister of Satan. Right. Right. <laughs> what you actually think of the, 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 the break the, the acting to break down this, what the brother is reading. Have no clue. <laughs> tell, tell them to break down Genesis. One and one. <laughs> Genesis the third chapter. He 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 adapted before he even have a have a clue. He, he gonna go to his grave not knowing. Uh, Psalm forty nine. Yeah. Can't go to the grave and never see light. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, they yeah. Can never see light. Yeah, yeah. Through. That's right. Done. Just up there sweating and lying. Out of that. <laughs> That's all the niggas doing. They have to sweat and lie. That's it. That's about it. Can I get an amen? That's about it. Ball-headed ass. Tell the joke. Pocket full of money. What oh, I think is here. Oh, oh. Pay that boy. You got a bunch of money. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You yeah. got a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, go here, man. What are you making, Sonny? Go ahead. It says that he yeah. should go, go and bring forth fruit. Right, and that's what we do. go and do. This is a perfect example. Oh, that's good. That yeah. like he should go and bring forth fruit. You know? Bro. <laughs> and this guy, and this, this So look, that, that brother did what the script That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, and that your fruit shall remain. And your fruit shall remain. Mm. Go ahead. It says, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't come and tell you. At least you don't come thinking you're going to fall off. You know, it's something to do. You know? 
even have plenty of gas. Hey, no. Perfect example. The guy that started this camp, dude, fucking from Bayou, right? Yeah. He, he, hey, I heard him on, 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 on two ears. The nigga said, man, I made a vow to the Lord. I ain't gonna never fall out. Okay. Mm. We ain't seen that nigga in about 10 years, man. Yep, he ain't doing the work. Yeah. He, and the scriptures say, when thou vows a vow, be sure to pay it back. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that shit, man, like it was yesterday, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he ain't doing the work. He, he don't got to be with us. He ain't doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, right? He don't got to be with us. He with another big Shirley. Yeah, that's all he's doing. That's all he's doing. Mm -hmm. But see, right. just because he left us, he should still be doing the work. He, right? Yep. Him and his faggot suit. You know? Yeah, yep. Both of them niggas fell out. Yeah. That's why it's, man, you, that'd be, because the policy, I know what you're into. Shit, man. When you, you to make a vow like that and just fall out, man, the Lord's gonna do something to fuck. He's gonna do something to that fat nigga, man. Hey, the Lord's gonna hold him to that vow. Yeah. Look at him. When the missile is coming, he's gonna think of that shit. Kind. When the missile is about to burn his fat ass fuck, man. Turn that nigga into the fucking trouble. Milk that. That nigga, he, 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 gonna, he, he gonna remember them words, you know, that that vow he made. Matter of fact, the Lord gonna put it in his hand. <clears throat> hey, you remember that vow you made? <laughs> you don't yeah. see brothers getting beamed up? You <laughs> know, you remember that vow? <laughs> you know, he ain't nothing but a panda bear, weak ass nigga. That's right. No, all he care about is worshiping Big Shirley. <laughs> but you know, I've known a lot of niggas gonna really realize reality. When they see these big shirties getting put to death. Oh, right. right. uh, 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 big mama laid out. Yeah, laid the fuck out. Big mama laid out. You're gonna see a lot of dead mountain mountain bodies of black, yeah. fat black woman laid with out. With a, a, a mountain white lion eating on that Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yeah. It's Jeremiah so vicious, like man. Vicious. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee. Yeah, thy own wickedness shall correct thee. And thy backslidings shall prove thee. Right. Know them, know them for it see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken your hour like power. Ooh, really? And that my fear is not. Oh, he says an evil thing and bitter to forsake your hour by fear and God, man. That's an evil thing. And guess what? The end is going to be bitter. Are right, you not going, eating, eating your chicken, busting your nuts, going to work, right, and got you a new car? Guess what? The Lord got something for your ass. Right. He got something for your ass. All right, because remember, nigga, your ass still on that red list too. Right? Even though you fell out, you might have fell out the truth, you still know, Esau gonna still going to get your ass. Just because you thought, nigga, you know you Israelite too, nigga. Oh, yeah. So Esau still going to come get you. All you call out that fell out, yeah. all right, Esau still going to come get you. No escape. He going to be, uh, uh, I ain't Israelite no more. He going to get the butt of that gun. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. You, you ain't just going to get away. Oh, and that goes for these women too. Yeah. These so-called sisters. Yeah. That claim that they was in the truth and talk. Oh, like like, like Sugar Bear's uh, woman, yeah, he's, the first Big Shirley. He, right. <laughs> like the, she, the original Big Shirley. The original Big Shirley. Huh? <laughs> Remember, she claimed she was in the truth. Yeah. All right. She used to be reading for him and all that. They gonna come for her ass too. Yeah. Say, yeah, no, you one of those. No, no, I left that stuff. I ain't want that. Come on, no, no pictures. We got the video. We got yeah. Videos of, yeah. They, yeah. They gonna hear yeah. her voice. video. <laughs> That's from 15 years ago. <laughs> I, I ain't with that no more. <laughs> <laughs> ain't your mama looking at you. Sit down. Yup. All ahead, that man. stuff. Go ahead, brother. And that yeah, my yeah. fear yeah. is not in me. Uh -huh. Said the Lord Powell. See, my fear was... is not in me. You know what? Why are we, we scared to go? Because, hey. They be that way. We don't want to receive that judgment, yeah. man. We go back into the world. Of course, ain't nothing back in the world anyway. Ain't nothing back there. Trump, you don't got shit to offer us. What is actually at a fucking offer you? Yeah. Nasty used up holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got nasty chicken heads. That's the spirit, see? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Don't go hit. Don't go look. Don't go look. Don't go hit. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Y'all holding something? I'm, I'm done. You done? Okay, okay. go ahead, brother. Nobody had nothing?